What's better, faster or more fun? A gravel bike or a mountain bike? Well, I find out since I've got these two lovely bikes here on review, I'm gonna ride the same route on both bikes and see how to compare and try and answer that question if I can. Now, it's a question I get asked a lot. Why buy a gravel bike when mountain bikes are so much better? And it's a really good question. And hopefully this video, my comparison, will give you some indication of which bike might be best suited to the sort of rider you are and the sort of riding you are doing. What it won't be is a scientific test, just a bit of fun really, so don't get too angry if you don't agree with the results. But hopefully it should be interesting and useful if you are in the market for a new bike, say a gravel bike or a mountain bike. So the route I've picked is a 30 kilometer route, just a local one here in the Cotswolds, and it's a mix of everything in there. There's a bit of road, there's a bit of single track, a bit of gravel, bridleways, byways, roots, rocks, you name it, there's a bit of everything in there. A real mix to hopefully see how these bikes uh, shine and compare and to really see where the differences are when I ride both bikes on the same route. So I have tested each of these bikes separately and there's a full in-depth review of the Lux and the Grail on my channel. So either go and do a search or just see the links in the description down below, maybe a floating card up above so you can see more in-depth reviews of each of the bikes. But before we get into the details of riding these bikes, let me just give you a quick reminder of each bike so you know what we're dealing with when we go and hit the trails. So this is a Canyon Lux, a cross country race weapon, ready to race at a World Cup or your amateur local race, full carbon fiber frame and swing arm and carbon wheels on this 4,649 pound spec model. Got a short travel dropper post for a gnarly descent and we've got four inches of suspension travel front and rear from a RockShox SID fork on the front and a Deluxe Shock on the back. And both can be locked out via a remote lever on the handlebar. So very much a bike ready to race at the World Cup, Olympics or local cross country circuit near you. And this is the Canyon Grail, the company's race focused performance gravel bike with a unique double decker handlebar. This model costs £3,149 and weighs about 8.6 kilograms, so quite a bit lighter than the Lux. You also have a full carbon fiber frame and fork, wide section alloy rims, hydraulic disc brakes, and a Shimano GRX DI2 group set. Both bikes have wide range gearing for tackling steep off-road climbs. On the Grail, we have Shimano's latest GRX DI2 group set with a two by configuration. While on the Lux, we have a SRAM 1x12 group set with a massive 1050 cassette on the back, giving a huge range. Now, the key difference between the two group sets on these bikes is you have closer ratios on the Grail due to the double chain set and a tighter range cassette. And there will be bigger gaps on the mountain bike with that wide range 1050 cassette, but a much smaller gear for tackling really steep climbs. So I came down that on the Grail the day before and it was pretty terrifying to be honest. I thought I was going to crash a few times, I really had to hit the brakes hard and slow myself down. The geometry puts you right over the front wheel, I've got really small tyres and I was digging the rim on all the rocks. Um, it just felt dangerous and a bit sketchy. On the mountain bike however, it's so much more fun. Lay the brakes off, put the dropper post down and just let it absolutely fly down there. Uh, loads more control, felt much safer and I was having much more fun which I think is a crucial uh, difference between these two bikes on that sort of terrain. The rougher, harder and more technical the tracks, the better the Lux performs. It pulls out a big advantage over the Grail on these trails. That's down to a combination of the high front end, dropper seat post, wide handlebars, suspension and big tyres. And even on flat trails, if it's bumpy, that suspension lets you stay in the saddle and keep powering on the pedals, maintaining speed better than the Grail. By comparison, the Grail bounces you around and sometimes you need to get out of the saddle and use your legs as suspension. And that means you're not pushing power through the pedals and losing speed compared to the Lux. Onto smoother trails, however, and it is roll reversal. The Grail really shines on road and fine gravel tracks. 
back there is about as gravelly as it gets for me here in my part of the UK. Just a standard farm access track used by Land Rovers for the farmers getting around. At the moment it's hard packed, really dry and quite rough. So on this grail I've had to lower tire pressure quite a bit just to make it a smooth ride, get it quite bumpy. But that is a fairly standard gravel track for me and like I said as gravelly as it gets. It is this bike's forte. Provided it's not too bumpy, the grail is a super fast bike. The geometry, stiff carbon frame and fast rolling tyres let you rip along at quite impressive speeds. It's darn near as fast as a road bike. The closer range gearing also works better at higher speeds and over a wider variety of trails and roads. You can also get much more aero and the position is similar to a road bike and you've got multiple hand positions on the handlebars. So for smashing all day road and gravel routes at speed the Grail is much better suited. And if you're coming from a road bike, you'll feel right at home. It's on this sort of single track behind me, which is a fine specimen from my local woods, nice dry and dusty today. But you start to get to the limits of a gravel bike compared to a mountain bike. I mean, this bike is coping just fine, but at high speed through some of the faster corners around the trees and with roots on the corners, the small tyres, the geometry, it just makes it a little bit, kind of a bit tasty in places. So a mountain bike, it definitely gives you a bit more confidence to attack the trails rather than hold back like you might have to on a gravel bike. The Grail is also about two kilos lighter, and that means it gets up to speed more easily and generally faster on the climbs. However, if the hill is really steep and the ground loose and slippery, the big tyres and massive gearing give the Lux an opportunity claw back and advantage over the grail. The Lux is no slouch on faster gravel tracks or linking road sections. The weight is low and the tyres are fast rolling, but the position isn't as aero as the grail for long periods of high speed pedalling. Over a longer route, the grail feels more efficient and better suited. So for adventure riding or racing gravel events, the grail is easy to choose. For technical riding and bike packing in remote countryside, the Lux would be an easier pick. So which bike you choose comes down to the type of terrain you're riding over and the sort of rider and riding you are doing. Now it's clear on really rough terrain, the rougher it is, the better the Lux really shines. When dealing with roots and rocks and just bumpy tracks, the suspension on the Lux and the bigger tires really are a huge advantage. On those sort of trails, the 40 mil tires, even at low pressures and a stiff carbon frame don't provide enough isolation to allow you to carry speed in the same way that a Lux does on that really bumpy terrain. On smoother trails, however, whether it's a road or a smooth gravel track, a fine gravel track, the Grail is definitely in its element. You've got a more aggressive aero position from the drops and the lower front end, and you can really hunker down, you can really get on the pedals and really get at the beans. And anytime it's flat and smooth, the Grail is definitely faster and I set some faster times on the Grail compared to the Lux anytime it's smoother or on the road. So smoother trails, the Grail shines, rougher tracks, the Lux is definitely the bike to choose, which is no surprise really, that makes a lot of sense. And that's what you expect really. So in a nutshell, if you're riding really rough tracks all the time, choose a man's bike. If you're riding a mix of smooth gravel tracks, single track, a lot of road and a few rough trails, then the Grail might be a better choice. And it really does come down to that ratio, that mix of what you're riding, how much road, how much gravel, how much single track, and how much you are prepared as a rider to really push your bike and yourself into some quite technical, challenging terrain. So you need to decide what riding you want to do and where you're riding and choose the bike to suit your requirements. So which would I choose? Well, I'd have both. <laughs> I know it's a bit of a cop out, but hear me out. The mountain bike is a sort of bike I put on top of a car and drive to the woods and have a couple of hours in the woods, just sessioning trails, single track, having lots of fun, steep climbs, challenging descents. That's where that bike really excels. But the Grail is a fantastic bike because I can ride from my doorstep and via lots of roads linked together, bridle ways and byways and other forest tracks and single track and have a really good fun ride without driving anywhere. 
So two very highly capable bikes and both great in all sorts of off-road situations, uh, routy single track and gravel tracks and road and stuff. But you approach each bike with a different mindset and outfit as well. So for the mountain bike, baggy shorts, peaked helmet, and I'm going to the woods and I'm gonna have fun on the most challenging trails I can find. With the grail, I'm running from my doorstep and I'm trying to explore as many brighter ways and byways and other forest tracks and linking it all together with road and not being at any disadvantage on a road compared to a road bike, really. And I'm wearing Lycra and pockets of my shorts, my bananas and stuff. So different mindset, different attitude to riding both bikes. Um, so that's why I'd have both bikes, really. If you're in that position to have both bikes, why not have both? Well, oh, that's a really tough question. Which would I choose? The thing is, the Grail is a great bike for riding from my front door and doing what I said earlier, exploring single track and bridal ways and linking it all together with a road. I love that about it. But when I get to the woods on a bit of single track with roots and tight corners, the Lux, the mountain bike is so much fun. Um, so yeah, if I could only have one bike, it would be the Grail. This suits what I have available in the current lockdown situation or having my doorstep so this is probably the bike I get more use out of. But post lockdown, when I can drive to the woods, it'd have to be the mountain bike, I think. So yeah, two bikes, both super capable, but very different attitudes and riding styles. Now it's time to turn it over to you. Which bike will you choose? Grail, Lux, mountain bike, gravel bike. Do let me know in the comment section down below. Now, I hope that was useful and interesting. And if it was, maybe you're going to hit that subscribe button down below. Loads more tech reviews and stuff coming up soon, so make sure you stick around. And then also hit that like button. Any questions, get down in the comment section. That's all for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all again next time.